Right now, a Suffolk golf course is facing a significant loss. A, a massive fire destroyed a building and dozens of golf carts at Sleepy Hole last night. They've been destroyed. This is a live look at the flames as we first showed you last night at 11. Now the course is trying to figure out what is next. Stephen Graves is live at the golf course tonight with an update on the cause. Stephen. Yeah, David, this just in. We learned that the cause of this fire was Mother Nature, a lightning strike. That's according to fire marshals in Suffolk here. But just look at the extensive damage that that caused. These are these golf carts, the front of them. You can see tires just ripped off the rims. As you can see here, siding on the barn just melted like wax. This all as people were, were wondering earlier how this happened, but business did carry on. On this rainy day at Sleepy Hole Golf Course in Suffolk, there's a cloud of sorrow. It's, 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 it's heartbreaking. After a fire leaves charred remains and metal scraps. The first time I've ever had anything like this. It also leaves worker JT Belcher with questions. 75 golf carts and the barn they sat in was demolished in minutes. We got about $375,000 worth of carts. Suffolk fire officials say the flames roared through around 8 last night. They kept going for about 40 minutes until firefighters got it all under control. It's like a second home to me. Chad Dunlow worked here as a teenager. So it's it pretty sad to hear about it. This isn't the first time he's seen an issue at the golf cart barn years ago. I know some kids broke into the barn, took some golf carts out, rode all over the golf course, tore some greens up, and actually put some of the golf carts in the lake, I believe. Hopefully it's not that again. Hopefully it was just an accident. And investigators want to find out. For much of the day, they comb through debris. For some type of clue into what started this fire, they marked batteries with flags and took pictures. Now it's about the weight and recovery, but even amid the devastation, a ray of sunlight. <laughs> One ticket? Okay. Signs that golfers will tee off and business will still carry on. JT, we kind of said, listen, you really have to help us out, see what you can do to bring in some golf carts so far. So good. Proving no matter what, there is hope and that people can recover by pushing forward. Those things can be replaced. And tonight, this was the only structure that was destroyed here. These golf carts, they were covered with insurance. Workers here say, of course, the important thing is no one was hurt. Reporting live in Suffolk, I'm Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.